Okay, after all that hard work on, this, on these uh, ramps, let's go with a little bit more, less complex example. You've got a crate, okay, and it's 50 kilograms. Okay, this is again our free body diagram, 50 kilogram box. You know that it's 50 kilograms going to exert a weight on the floor. That's one of the forces that we commonly exert. It's going to have a weight. The weight is just 9.8 times that value, so that's going to be uh, 49 newtons. Okay, that 50 kilogram box, let's see, 9 point, oops, 490, 490 newtons. Okay, there's a 490 newton weight. But the floor has to respond by push, pushing back a normal force. Again, we usually set the, if it's flat, we can set the weight equal to the normal force. If it's on a ramp, we have to, we have to set the force perpendicular to the normal force. But in this case, we can set the weight equal to this, so that's 490 newtons. The question is saying, what is the force needed to move the cart? Well, what's cool is let's say we want to move the cart this way with the force that is the effort to get this to move. But if we do that, there's going to be a resistance. It's always against the driving force. That is going to be the force of friction. What does the friction, sorry, that looks like a W. Force mu. What does the force of friction have to be? Well, it's whatever this fraction is. It's saying four tenths. Whatever four tenths of the effort it takes to lift that box is what it takes to drag it. So it's a little less than half of the weight is needed. The force of half of the weight is needed to get it to drag. So if I take 0.4, take the normal force times the coefficient of friction, that'll tell me what the amount of friction is. So 490 is the weight it would take to lift this. 490 times uh, 0.1 is, sorry, 490 times 0.4. I'm not going to be able to do that in my head. Okay, so let me grab the calculator. Back in action. 490 times 0.4. First, got to turn it on. 490 times 0.4 is 196. Okay, what is the force needed to get this moving? 196 newton force at least to get it just started. A little bit more would be necessary. If I just put 196, there's still all those forces are balanced. The force downwards um, counteracted by the normal force. Force of friction is as big as 196. If you don't provide it, the force of friction is just whatever force you provide. It just matches that friction until you finally provide something a little bit more and then it just stays at that level. Good job.